you'll realize that you'll want a hundred different contradictory things. And when you put it all on paper, that none of it makes sense. And then that's when... Hey guys, so with all this talk about brand, I want to show you, um, after you go through that checklist, I want to show you what one of my research docs look like. So I'm extremely, extremely research driven when it comes to anything related to my business or my brand. And I will preach it always. And it's what I stand by is I believe that the research phase is the most important. When I was studying engineering in university, one of the things that we were taught is the beginning initial phase when you're setting the constraints and restrictions and you're doing the research, it is, let me, I'm just going to draw this out really quickly. So this is time and money right here. I hope you guys can see this, right? This is the trend line that you'll see for like, how much money you will waste over time if you make a wrong decision. If you make a wrong decision here, over time, this is how much it's going to cost you for you to fix it. It makes sense, right? If you invested a, a bad, if you invested on a really bad website and it looks like shit and you built it on the wrong platform and then you added a bunch of blog posts and then you integrated Shopify and ClickFunnels and then you're like, oh, I want to change my brand you have so many things to change over time. But if from the beginning you figured out, okay, I'm going to use ClickFunnels and I'm going to do my brand amazing from the beginning and everything I need is in this platform, then you don't have to go through all this shit. So I really believe and I preach always research is so important. So I'm going to share with you one of my docs and we're going to jump right in and I want to show you how you can do something similar so that you can really break down your brand identity and how you want to build it back out. Um, I know we're missing a few pieces here, so I am going to go and film all these videos for you later so you really understand what it is that I'm talking about. But what I'm going to show you is my research doc for the process that I use to create a brand identity from scratch. And really it is you go out and you look at inspiration for things that you really like and you ask questions to yourself about um, what you're offering who your audience is and what you want and then you put that in a document and essentially it's like a visual mood board for the direction of your brand and either you give this to someone else to build a brand for you or you use this to brainstorm and create your own brand that is totally up to you but i just want to share with you the level of detail that i got i go into and you should definitely too because i promise you long-term results is exponentially better than if you were to take a shortcut and just do guesswork okay so we will see you right in my screen okay so we are back on my screen now and what you are seeing here is the level of analness that I am talking about when it comes to doing your brand research you can see here on this side how many documents I have in this folder and I have several folders like this and everything you see here is related to my business and my brand and I highly 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 recommend that everybody do something like this and spend at least a week yeah it sounds like a long time but a week of your time versus years of wasted efforts sounds like a great trade-off to me so what I do here is I answer these questions I'm just going to put these at a top level so you have an idea so you really want to ask yourself what kind of brand are you building and what is the purpose behind it? So I ask myself, who do I want to attract? Like, what is the audience that I'm trying to pull in and how do I speak to them? Right. So this is what is I'm talking about here. I talking about the people that I want to work with and it really, really I'm trying to get into their brain. And then I talk about what do I want to create? So this is me forward thinking myself 10 years from now. Why am I doing what I am doing and it is because I want to create like an incredible brand for myself I basically want to be like Asian Tony Robbins and just inspire people to live their best life and show them that it is absolutely possible so what I'm doing right now is just a stepping stone to get me to this end goal so when I'm building out my brand 
I'm basically building it for the long-term goal and not the short-term goal. So the next part here, and it's not in this document, but I have it in another document. And that is like the research that I do with my ideal customer avatar. And I have a handout about that. So if you go and click in the description, I actually, I share that resource for free. You can go in the description for this video and you can download this exact document, which will help answer these questions of your ideal customer avatar. So I've specced all of this out and this is how you understand who you are building the brand for. Remember, the brand isn't just about you. It is also about who you're trying to attract. So this is my running document of who my ideal client avatar is. And then I go into what they struggle with and what they want. And then I, and I think about how do I talk to them in the language that resonates most with them, right? So how do I get their attention? Talk about what they're always thinking about. And then that's when I go back into my document. And this is where I reverse engineer people that I really like to follow. So this is the, the next tab here. And this is what I recommend all of you do is go look at people in your niche or people that you admire and you look at what they have. You, you go and look for all the things that you love and you put it in a document. It might be, I love this color. I love this font. I love the energy she holds. Put all of it and write all of it down and look for things that are consistent. So this is what I've done. I've basically audited about 10 different people that I look up to that I want to be like, essentially. I love Rachel Hollis. I love how real she is. I love how raw she is. I love that she runs events and I want to do something like her. So she's in my brand document here. She's in my research document because I want to create something like she did. Same with Mary Forleo. Like um, everything is figure outable. She has her own YouTube channel. She's super cool. She has B-School. Again, another person that I'm trying to model. So what you're looking at is when you're doing this research, you're looking at people that you want to model and then you're trying to reverse engineer how they did it. Look at what they are doing. Look for the patterns and the consistencies that all the people that you have are doing. And then you can say, well, so she really leveraged her YouTube or uh, it seems like she built it with a Facebook group, right? And you kind of use this to get really, you start to think about your business and how you can build your business in a similar fashion by doing this type of research. And the better thing that you can take away from this is if this is your competitor, you look at their audience. How are they attracting their audience? What words are they using to talk to their audience, right? Like I will sign up to everyone's mailing list to see what they offer to see if I could use that from my own audience, especially if it's someone similar. So this whole document is me explaining what I like about these brands and what I want to take from it and how I can use that in my own branding. Um, so this is a process that I would use to both look at design styles that you resonate with, as well as business models that you resonate with as well as role models that you resonate with and really use this time to understand exactly what it is that you're trying to build and some ideas of how you might be able to get there, right? You don't need all the answers right now. A lot will happen in six months, in a year, and even a month in terms of growing a business. So you don't need an exactly clear direction. You just need to know like your, your, your destination. If you got to close your eyes and be able to identify your destination and then everything else will kind of fall into place. Like Meg Batoon. I love her. She's so funny. She's so real. I love her colors. And you might see that some of the stuff that I have mimics a lot of these sunnies, her stuff. Like, Oh, I really like her style. I had already designed something that looked like this before I even noticed. And I found her on YouTube that hers looked like that. So th like, this is something that you can do. Um, and this is just one of my documents. Like if I'm going to show you my sketch files, that's even crazier. So my sketch files are my design files for um, like, this is how I design. I use a program called Sketch. It's a lot, it's, it's like, it's like Illustrator, but not really. It's, it's 
it's more for product designers and I'm a traditionally a product designer, but anyways, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what that means to you guys. If this would load. So, and then beyond that, this is essentially my mood board for the colors and the styles that I like the most. And definitely, definitely you should be creating something similar for yourself so that you can pass this on to another person to help you build your brand. If you don't know where you want your brand to go, no one else will. You should be able to go through my other video and go through the brand checklist and answer all those questions if you don't know them you you don't know exactly what you're doing yet and you don't know who you're serving so that's very important that you figure that out first but you can see here this is some of my running files of my branding which is currently being built which is why you will see that it, i preach a, a lot of the things that i'm saying i haven't completely implemented yet because i'm still in the testing phase and i work way too fast so instead of waiting for this to be perfect i told myself fuck it just execute and then fill it in later so as much as i preach branding do not let that be an excuse for you not to take action people love to come up with excuses for why they can't take action and branding is not a real enough excuse there are no excuses for why you don't take action you are your own excuse so that is all i'm gonna say so i'm just gonna bring the camera back on me now i hope that going through that little screen share you saw the level of detail that i go into when it comes to mapping out a brand i highly highly recommend that all of you spend some time and do something similar really go in and look at your competitors really go in and ask yourself what do i want in my branding what do i want in my business and put it in a document and put it together and see how it all fits in you'll realize that you'll want a hundred different contradictory things and when you put it all on paper that none of it makes sense and then that's when you start weeding out the stuff that doesn't align and you get a really clear vision right so go and make a mood board and that you can use any you can use there's a bunch of mood board softwares out there like or mind mapping softwares or you can just even go on instagram and like save pins and and, and and save them on your instagram to look at and say hey i love these colors i love these people right like you just want to be able to look at it visually and put it together if you can't look at it visually or write it on a piece of paper you do not have clarity so don't be lazy don't skip this step go and make something similar go and do the research and really really own your brand and be clear about what you want and like i said before please please take advantage of my free client conversion blueprint it is in the link below go and download it so that this doesn't happen to you and that you don't go and waste a lot of money later on it's just a few pages of homework just go do your research, figure out your ideal customer, figure out what you want, and you will have so much clarity and you'll be so happy that I forced you to do this. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to share this with somebody that you think needs help as well. All right, see you in the next one.